Hey guys, in today's video we'll be talking about heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. So before we get started, let's discuss what heparin actually does first. So it's an anticoagulant and it stimulates antithrombin-3. And what antithrombin-3 does, it inhibits factor 2 called thrombin and factor 10 in the coagulation cascade. So it inhibits the coagulation cascade, essentially. Now with HIT, that's a complication of heparin therapy. In the case of HIT, it's an immune reaction, an antibody-mediated reaction against platelet factor 4, which is on platelets. And this is a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction as well. Now let's talk about the cascade of events that happen specifically. So like I mentioned, heparin is going to first bind to platelet factor 4, which is found on platelets. And this will activate platelets. And this forms a complex together with the heparin and the PF4. Now, because we have these complexes, IgG antibodies are going to come and bind to these complexes on the platelets. And as a result of antibody binding, it's going to mark it for destruction. And we know what organ will destroy complexes? The spleen. So these complexes are going to now be taken towards the spleen. And as a result, the spleen will destroy these platelets. Now, I want to mention this is a positive feedback effect too. So the more platelet complexes that get destroyed, the more binding of IgG antibodies happens and the more destruction happens. So it's just a mess. It's a positive feedback effect. And as a result of this, you're going to have mass destruction of platelets and you're going to have a reduced platelet count. And paradoxically, you're going to have an abnormal clot formation happening because of these platelets being activated and then destroyed. So you're going to have um, arterial thromboses, venous thromboses. It's a mess. Now, in terms of timeline, when this happens since the initiation of heparin therapy, it usually takes one to two weeks after it starts. But if you've had heparin therapy previously, you've already formed these antibodies in your blood. So as a result, in that case, it can only take a day later. Now I want to end this video off by talking about one high yield key point in this whole video. So a hit generally refers to type 2 hit. We also have a type 1 hit, but that's called usually heparin associated thrombocytopenia. And it's much more common. It happens nearly in all people. It happens one to two days after. It's non-immune mediated. And there's just a mild decrease in platelets. And it normalizes. It's transient all by itself. You don't have to stop heparin therapy. It's not an emergency.